you. Yes, I mean you. You want to play a platform and you're not sure what's good? Know what? Let me show you. Number 5 Super Mario World. This game is filled with lots of fun childhood memories. It was the first game I had for the SNES, but it didn't make it into my top 5 on nostalgia alone, no sir. The controls were very good for the time, hell, the jumping feels a lot better than some of the more recent titles. The game world was also neatly varied with bonus levels every now and then. Super Mario World lands on number 5. Number 4 A quick jump into the year 2011. Sonic Generation hit the market and everyone was thinking, oh bugger, here we go again, another futile attempt to revive the Sonic franchise. And oh boy were we mistaken. Sonic Generation is the best Sonic game in ages. The 3D sections are quite nice, although I still think Sonic should stay where he feels most comfortable, on the 2D plane. And that is exactly where this game excels. The 2D sections are very enjoyable with lots of replay value. There are collectibles scattered through each level and even after you collect them all, you can still try to beat your old time record. I highly recommend Sonic Generations to anyone who has not yet given up all hope for the Sonic franchise. Sonic Generation ends up in 4th place. Number 3 And we're right back to the SNES era. Yoshi's Island was, and still is, very interesting from a challenge standpoint. What Yoshi's Island did so very right is offering various levels of challenges, but it did not force anything on the player. Here is what I mean. You could collect various items in each level. Stars, red coins and flowers. If you finished the level with all of these, you got 100 points for the stage and could collect an additional level per world, if you happen to finish all stages with 100 point scores. This gives the player the option to hunt these scores in order to increase the challenge the game offered. On the other hand, those players that did not care about this kind of stuff were not punished for it. It was a nice difficulty system that catered to casual as well as hardcore gamers alike. Due to good level design and game design, Yoshi's Island gets the glorious third place. Number 2 Okay, time for innovation to get a piece of the spotlight. Trine, and Trine 2 even more so, really spiced up the platforming genre. The obstacles you face in all of the levels can be solved in various ways. Since you can freely switch between three characters with totally different abilities, you can advance through the levels in different ways. You are almost never forced to solve a puzzle in only one specific way. Naturally, you are also able to solve the puzzles by using more than one character. But where trying to really triumphs is the multiplayer. You can play with up to two friends, each of you controlling another character. The campaign is still the same, but now you have to get every character across the map as an individual. In single player you can freely switch between the characters at any point. So for good level design, awesome multiplayer experience and stunning graphics, the number 2 spot goes to Trine 2. Number 1 My number 1 spot for best platformer has gotta go to Super Meat Boy. Now you might be saying, what are you crazy person, do you have some masochistic tendencies? Nope, I would reply, I just loves me a challenge, which this game has plenty of. The most fun aspect of Super Meat Boy is the fact that one single screw up kills you. Outright, no ifs and buts. This would get annoying though if the game designers hadn't made sure that the game flow doesn't get interrupted by you dying over and over again. At the end of each level you even get a replay of all your attempts simultaneously which illustrates just how many times you play one single level until you get through once. And it is fun! Now all of this can be interpreted as potential problems for games. What? Dying all the time? This doesn't sound like fun, this only sounds like trial and error! Wrong I dare say, for Super Meat Boy has massively slick controls. If you fail, you can be sure that you f***ed up yourself. Super Meat Boy wins this race with precise controls, good difficulty curve and the challenging level designs and ends up in first place. If you want to check out more of my stuff, go to youtube.com slash 3 Be so kind and write a comment to tell me what you think. Your opinion is important to me.